All right, hey everybody, Shane R. Monroe here. We're gonna show you how to get a brand new install of Battle.net and Overwatch working. You're gonna have to copy these off of a PC that you already have them installed. Uh, that's the only way to do it here. So um, uh, we're, gonna, we're going to be creating a new Proton prefix um, and uh, that's why we have that compat data on the right. These are all of the different folders that contain Battle.net content that you're going to need to copy over to a drive or an SD card or whatever and bring over here so that we can deploy them. And so I'm showing you uh, all the different contents you're gonna need and then we're gonna show you where they go. But first things first, we need to create an empty Proton prefix folder. So we're gonna launch Steam and we're gonna add a non-Steam game. And in this case, we're just gonna browse out to the uh, SD card and we're gonna point it to like the battle.net.exe. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter what you point to. This is just to create this Proton prefix for us. And let's find that exe that we were looking for. Okay, good. All right, so we're gonna add it, but we still have to run it once to create the folder. All right. So let's go ahead and um, check our compatibility. Uh, we can use pretty much pretty much whatever Proton we want. I like GE714, just seems to work really well. So we're gonna hit play, and that folder is gonna be created in the background right there. There it is, just now it was created. So we've got it, we can go ahead and stop this. It doesn't really matter what it's doing, just kill it. We don't need it to be working, so let's get rid of that. Don't even have to log in, stop. And now we have the prefix, we can start copying our files over to the prefix. Okay, so we'll go in here, we go to drive C, and it's pretty much folder for folder, right? So program data, we copy the program data over. And you'll wanna make sure that you do a write into and apply all, override apply all. All right, then we're gonna go back to the faux C drive, back to the stuff we copied from Windows. Program files x86. Now, it never actually installed Battle.net, so there was nothing there, but we're gonna go ahead and copy the files over just to make sure if, if a uh, Battle.net game needs access to that for some reason, at least it's there. Go back, go back. Application data is actually stored in users, Steam user application data. We copy that over. And again, the same sort of idea, write into, apply all, write, and overwrite. Okay, now we could copy Overwatch into there too, right? Because it's usually installed under x86, but we're just gonna run it off the uh, SD card. You guys can put it wherever you want. For now though, we're gonna go ahead and just leave it where it is. Okay, so now we're gonna go back in to our non-Steam game. We are going to go and browse to our Overwatch EXE, which is in the retail folder, not the Overwatch launcher in that previous folder and we should be good to go. Let's take a look. Gabe Willing, this should work for us just fine. Okay, there we go, Blizzard Entertainment, good. And there's Overwatch. Now we are in desktop mode, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in using my physical keyboard. Controls are definitely wonky in here, so you'll have to do the best you can. The mouse doesn't even work right. We'll get to that in a minute. So I'll just use the space bar to hit the login. And we're going to just make sure that the game actually starts and there's no problems. Okay, so good. All right, we're in Overwatch, but um, I assure you the controls are not right in here. So use the arrows, use the space bar, enter doesn't work, use the space bar. No, enter doesn't work, there you go. <laughs> now let's get back out of here. Even the mouse is off. It, it's a complete mess in the state that it's in right now. I still tried to hit enter. Okay, so how, how do we fix this? Let's return to gaming mode and see if it happens to behave there. So now we're in gaming mode. We're gonna go ahead and launch it again. We shouldn't have any weird desktop overlay problems. We should have controller support. Everything should work over here. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Uh, as many of you have already reported, you can't type anything in that box. 
Whether it's with a keyboard, whether it's with the virtual keyboard, nothing works. You can't enter anything into these boxes. Totally frustrating. If you tap the screen, it doesn't work. If you use the mouse, it doesn't work. The physical keyboard doesn't work. None of this works. So how are we going to fix this? Well, back to desktop mode. Now, listen, I know what you're going to say. Why didn't you just have us do this when we were over in desktop mode? This is for troubleshooting for people who may be experiencing the problem and might have missed a step. All right, so we know there's a problem in gaming mode that doesn't affect us in desktop mode. We're gonna go back to desktop mode. We're gonna launch Overwatch. We're gonna log in using, uh, in this case, I'm gonna use the mouse and a keyboard. I'm not gonna use the virtual keyboard, although you could, you could use the virtual keyboard and it would work. For the sake of brevity, we're gonna use the mouse and keyboard. Okay, what we need to do in order to solve that problem is we need to change a couple of our options. Look at that, the mouse isn't even working right. I'll tell you what, this whole thing is completely wonky, but it's hard for me to use the touch screen while I'm recording. So we're trying to do our best here. So we're gonna to change to borderless windowed. That's the magic secret sauce, or at least part of it. And then we're going to change our resolution down to something that's, well, a bit more um, uh, deck friendly, shall we say? and we'll make that 1280 by 800, and we'll apply, and I think we're ready to get out of here and give this another go. All right, now, if all of this works out, then we're gonna go back to gaming mode. We are going to relaunch our, from our Proton Prefix. And at this point in time, everything should be good. Let's see. All right. Let's see, bring up the overlay keyboard. Yes, the virtual keyboard works again, perfect. Damn windowed borderless windows. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and log in as best as I can here. I, again, I can't use the touch screen, so I have to use my mouse to work the virtual touch screen, but I assure you it does work. And uh, I'll tab, now I'm, in the, now I'm in the password field, I'm entering that on the keyboard so I don't reveal my password. And then I'll go ahead and hit enter and I'm gonna connect. All right. Okay. Now, does everything behave? Do all the controls work right? Is my controller working? Oh my God, it works great. Perfect. All of our settings. Now, again, this game isn't going to auto update anymore because Battle.net does that for you. So when there's an update and you can't log in because there's an update, you're going to need to copy Overwatch again off your PC after it's updated and move it onto your deck, overlaying the current copy. Listen, it sucks, but this is what we've got. I hope this helps. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm with you guys. S stay, stay strong. Stay strong.